Look at the little treat we drug home today, boys. 2004 Jeep Grand Cherokee with that inline six 4.0 that you all love so much. She's lifted. Yee -yee. A lot of yeeing going on in this thing. Well, it seems like you guys like the the little stories that go along with these junks as much as I do, so I like to share them with you. Kid said he paid too much for it. Bought it in July of last year. It's got some nicies. Some real nicies. 2016 Jeep Wrangler and also Goodyear Wranglers. Wheels and tires with adapters because these Jeeps are four and a half inch lug pattern, but these newer Wranglers have five by five inch. Well, kid said he drove it home quite a ways and it really didn't have much power. Didn't want to go much faster than 30, 40 miles an hour, he said. Not sure why. He thought maybe transmission problem, but oh yeah, you got the Cheerson, a little cup of Cheerson, but uh, I don't know. He uh, he said it didn't run too well, and he wasn't very happy, but he was stuck with it. So parked it in the backyard, been sitting there. Time to get rid of it. Talked to somebody else in town and said, I know a guy, nice and easy, comes and gets him. Sometimes he even pays you something. So I asked him the old question. Yes, I buy vehicles, as long as they're complete and have their factory catalytic converters on them or Cadillac converters and uh, and a title for uh, 2004 needs a title so he said yep no problem got all that stuff on there well typical fashion I go and I put my head under there and there's no exhaust nope he's gone no cat no no nothing so I said well it's gonna be a different price than what I said but then I noticed something else Ooh, you look up there. What's that? A couple little babies hiding up there. A couple of cats up there. I don't know what they're worth, but at least it has those. We got some rough country suspension components. Little spacer for the cross member. So I happen to have a good uh, top post battery, so we're gonna start by slapping a battery in and 
get this strap off of here out of the way so we can get in and we're gonna see what happens here. Something. Something's going on. Doesn't look very promising. A remote start or something. Bent the hinges. We got juice. It's got 220, almost 221 on it. it. Says we got no gas. Let's see what happens. Sounds like it's got no oil. Does not sound very good. You don't sound too healthy, boys. The old indestructible 4.0. You said it was good. Got some oil. She is black. Pull right to the top. Well, 
to get it off the trailer take a closer look look at that leather seats power window works oh yeah Very loud. Not just the exhaust, but something going on. Something is definitely going on. Weaken some training fluid. Talking about whoops. Let's see what he bought. Warehouse sale, I don't know. Oh, U-joint. 25 bucks. Love box needs work. Still a sale. Welcome back, Cotter. Talking about
Gotta love the twisted T. The old half and half. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, LEDs. No spare. You always need an extra one of them. Anything in there? No. Oh, I love these. Phillips head self tapper. Those are priceless. Yeah. Street dirt track. I don't understand. Do not comprehend. Doesn't make any sense. It's a street, but it's a dirt track. Oh, here we are again. Woo! What's going on here? That's what I'm talking about. Masking tape. Nothing good. Anything in there? What is that? Uh, sticker. Crime Stopper. Cool start. Rigged up a little temporary exhaust there. See if uh, quiet it down a little bit. Can't hear the engine. Oh, ice is melting. Funny thing is, I got this uh, muffler and pipe recently from a yard that the kid said it was off his Jeep. Nothing to do with this Jeep, but kind of funny anyway that I'll use it on this. I used a couple of bends off the off the pipe there, but muffler has got a little hole in it. See if it sounds any different. Jeep uh, Wrangler wheels. Yeah. It's got a lift kit on it. So well, I can see that. So. Uh, huh. Don't sound too healthy, but. Really? Yeah. I love the color. Huh. Chubb said G 
Jesus, you think I get the GM fee there, you think I gotta flip up the back seat for us to get around the garage in there. Yeah, that's fairly <laughs> And I said, gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, it doesn't look bad at all. Oh, Christ. Huh. Did you have to dig it out? Uh, not really. The, the kid had, and everything. He had it pulled out from the backyard already for me, so. Huh. From town? Yeah. Right over, uh, actually, where where uh, Steve lives, right near the right on Westwood Ave. Really? Yeah. Huh. Huh. What year is it? Oh, four. 